Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. Justin Smith here, going to highlight another new arrival here at the dealership. Guys, what we have in front of us is the 2018 uh, or Ram Promaster 1500 high roof, seven passenger conversion van. Now this is actually one of my favorite color combos. I know I say it a lot. Of course, I like all the vans we have here, right? But uh, the white and black is just uh, a favorite of mine. I love the black wheels blacked out windows it's just a good look and I tell you the the whites the silvers and the sandstones are just really easy to take care of um, always look clean um, even without washing them you know a couple times a week but uh, just like all the uh, all the pro masters that we do here all the exterior components have been painted to match the factory paint such as running boards mirrors front fascia and uh, the rear bumper as well um, now walking around the front of this van guys all of our pro masters um, our front wheel drive paired up to a 3.6 liter pentastar v6 just under 300 horsepower good for 20 plus mile a gallon guys in, in front wheel drive i don't know if you realize this we are the only front wheel drive full-size van in the world uh, so what does that do that gives you best turning radius in its class um, so these vans are extremely easy to drive and park um, obviously the front wheel drive is going to give you better traction in all weather conditions but when we get into the back of the van I want to get, show you a couple more benefits to the front wheel drive and uh, we'll get to that here in a minute on the side you'll notice all of our ProMasters here have 5% uh, limo tent privacy glass around the back um, and on the inside we have shades as well so that's going to ensure your uh, best uh, protection from the sun and of course ensure uh, your privacy as well 17 inch black wheels guys we do offer chrome wheels um, actually these might be the 16s yes they are they're the 16 inch we do offer a 17 and an 18 inch wheel both black and chrome finish now moving around to the back i like to take this time to go over over some of the safety features all of our pro masters have to offer starting with the rear backup camera which is located top dead center so the way that this system works as soon as you throw it in reverse you're going to get a color visual of whatever might be behind you on the 5.0 uconnect nav screen inside on the dashboard and not only you're going to get that when you put it in reverse you're going to get an audible alert from these four backup or backup sensors i'm sorry um, and what those do guys is they intensify the closer you might become to an object behind you now also in the safety category, we have anti-lock brakes, traction control, hill start brake assist, and rollover mitigation protection, uh, which is extremely important in a high profile vehicle. If you need more information on those safety features, what they do, how they work, again, I'm Justin Smith, feel free to give me a call. Moving forward, all the ProMasters here come with a factory tow package. <coughs> and for 2018, these vans are uh, rated at 5,100 pounds. For the 2019 models coming out, they have increased the tow rating. So if you need more information on that, give me a call. But this particular van does, again, will tow 5,100 pounds. Comes with a seven pin and a four pin flat directly from the factory. So from day one, pull it off the lot, you're ready to tow that boat to the lake and take along seven friends or family members. Now let's jump into the back of this van, but before we do that, uh, I want to talk about this manual sliding door here, guys. Um, obviously, it, it's a manual door, very easy to open. We do have an option for a power door kit uh, that we do utilize in a lot of our mobility applications, but uh, that that manual sliding door is, is super easy. A small child could open it, no problem. Um, and it tends to get easier the more you use it obviously but I can open it right now with just two fingers um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video that the van was front wheel drive okay guys so obviously the front wheel drive again better turning radius than any van in its class uh, the best traction in all weather conditions but probably the best feature the front wheel drive offers to this van that, uh, puts it all in a class of its own is how low our floor is guys with no drive shaft coming from the front wheel to the rear wheel we have a lower floor than anybody in the van industry okay 21 inches off the ground so you get about a 10 and a half inch step to the running board and then 10 and a half, 10 and a half inches from the running board to the floor inside the van 
Now, with this big opening and a low entry and this nice grab bar right here, it makes it extremely easy to get in and out of this van. Guys, I'm six foot two, and I can walk straight in this van and out without having to duck. And of course, we don't have that annoying little hook right here where the barn doors on some of our competitors um, latch to and uh, tend to uh, bump, bump your head on that a lot in some of the competitors. Now, with this big opening, guys, this fan makes an excellent choice for mobility applications, which we do a lot here at the dealership. We put a lot of Rycon slide away lifts that stow off to one side um, so you can access the van with the lifts fully stowed um, with no problem. And uh, so these vans make an excellent choice if you're looking for mobility applications. Now, the interior in this van is a black carpet black bottom wall and a tan upper wall now guys all of our captain's chairs are swivel as you can see right there have that one turned towards the door they are all swivel all of our captain's chairs in our vans are swivel power recline and slide forward and back manually um, all of our captain's chairs do have the seat belts built right in along with the tether hooks down here so no matter which way this chair is facing, whether you've got a car seat in there or um, an individual, you're gonna be safe and secure at all times. Um, we do, as I mentioned from the outside, we have these nice privacy shades on all the windows in the rear of the van. Overhead storage in all of our vans, even our low tops guys have the overhead storage. Not quite as big as our raised roof models, but still, only low top out there to have overhead storage, I believe in the conversion man segment. So as far as cabinets go, you got one, two, three, four, and five in the back of this van. Real pretty indirect lighting as you see up along the ceiling with the option to turn that on and off. And you do have the indirect lighting that breaks up the two-tone wall midway through. The rear sofa in this is, uh, will, uh, seat three people three adults um, it is a power rear sofa so it'll slide forward and back and fold completely flat now guys if you fold this sofa flat spin this chair around it'll accommodate somebody as tall as me laying this way and you can watch that pretty 32 inch led television uh, now we do have it kind of in a demo mode right now um, just to give you an idea of how nice that picture is and how sweet it is to have a 32 inch smart television in the back of your van. Now, because it is a smart television, uh, it's got all the applications that we've grown familiar with and rely on just about every single day, such as YouTube, Netflix, Facebook, um, Amazon, and, and a few others. And this uh, Vizio 32 inch smart television uh, is paired up to a Vizio Blu-ray, or I'm sorry, LG. We got a Vizio TV LG Blu-ray player. Now that Blu-ray player will play regular discs as well as Blu-ray DVDs and uh, does have a bunch of uh, applications uh, built into that as well. Now, as far as watching a movie goes, got a couple different options for the, the audio. And in this van, you can just simply listen to the TV speakers. Um, all of our vans come with wireless headphones. And if you want a true movie theater experience, we have kicker surround sound speakers in the back of the van to give you that experience as well. So you got multiple options as far as watching entertainment back here. And with that, I'm gonna jump into the rear radio. All of our vans feature a separate rear radio for the passengers. This particular one is a JVC Bluetooth AM FM uh, satellite radio um, with USB charge port and auxiliary input. Now this rear radio only works through the wireless headphones. If you got questions on any of that, why and how, uh, again, Justin Smith, give me a call and I can get into more detail on what it exactly does and what it won't do. Um, below the rear radio, you have radio, you have a control panel here. It's got four toggle switches. These are for your map lights, indirect lights, cup holder lights in the back of the van. Um, and also you notice you got a 110, two USB charging ports in which we do have USBs in the back. This is right beside the rear sofa for charging for the rear passengers. Um, and also an HDMI input. So anything that uses a 110 
and has HDMI connectivity, can be uh, uh, connected or transferred directly to the 32 inch TV, such as the PlayStation. Maybe you want to put uh, project your laptop image up on the 32 inch uh, TV, you can do that as well, and also charge that laptop or tablet at the same time. Um, digital. Uh, digital heat and uh, air thermostat in the back this is a pro air 2 system with an auto feature so basically you set the temperature on what you want it to do and the fan speed will adjust on its own as you can see there it's an AC mode a little chilly for that this time of year so we'll go ahead and turn that off but that's how you control the climate in the back of this van and that pretty much wraps up the back of this van let's go ahead and jump up into the front and one thing I wanted to uh, stress is we don't have to get out of the back of the van to get to the front we don't have a center console like a lot of the competitors do in between the front two seats so it's real easy to get from the front to the back or from the front or from the back to the front as i'm going to demonstrate now as i walk right through now up in the front of the van you'll notice that we have the same nice leather interior that we have in the back of the van um, and these captain chairs up in the front of the van are on an eight-way adjustable pedestal have adjustable armrests with this little roller here underneath and do feature lumbar and factory heat now moving over to the steering wheel guys we got a really nice leather wrapped wheel and notice there's controls on both sides of the airbag now these are gonna um, allow you to give your Uconnect 5.0 radio voice commands such as you know turn to this station or call this person that you might have uh, stored in your um, your your contacts um, after you do a Bluetooth setup with your phone, uh, adjust the volume, mute the stereo. Um, here's your hands-free caller buttons right here, and also a channel up and channel down. Now, as far as power equipment goes, guys, the ProMaster does not uh, disappoint in this this category. Uh, we got power windows on both sides, power locks, of course, keyless entry power collapsing mirrors as you see them fold right there with one touch of the button um, of course the top portion of the glass is power on both sides and guys even the blind spot part of this mirror is power as you see this joystick here has four triangles so the two bottom are for your blind spot the two up top are obviously for the big portion of the glass on the outside you connect 5.0 touchscreen radio this is where your backup image is going to show up as soon as you put it in reverse, like de demonstrated there. AM, FM, uh, tuner, uh, satellite radio, free for more near. And guys, the, the interface on this is a TomTom -tom interface. So it's extremely easy to use. A lot of you familiar with TomTom. TomTom's -tom been around for many, many years. And guys, it's probably one of the easiest factory navigations I've ever played around with. So that won't disappoint. As far as cup holders go up in the front, there's actually six cup holders up in the front of this fan, so there's plenty of storage for your drinks. Um, you've got your standard glove box over here in front of the front passenger seat. Little cubby hole in between the glove box and the airbag, and then an additional storage compartment up on top. Guys, that pretty much wraps up the inside of this 2018 seven passenger uh, ProMaster seven passenger van. That's a tongue twister. Um, Guys, if, if there's anything I didn't cover on this uh, uh, van, maybe you had questions on a different van, please don't hesitate to call. And for those of you that like the videos that we do here at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans, or maybe you're in search of that perfect van you've yet to find, I kindly ask that you subscri or subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. That's gonna better your chances on not missing out on the next great deal here at Paul Sherry's. Once again, I'm Justin Smith. I appreciate your time. Hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.